Hi, so I wanted to talk about a really cool research problem. It doesn't have huge implications, but it's something that we can all enjoy, and it's something that's really quite interesting. I have the Turing machine right here, and it happens to have five states, Q0 through Q4, and a halt state, but we're not going to consider that. So this machine, if you run it, will run for approximately 47 million transitions if you run it with a blank tape. So if you start this uh, machine with completely blank tape and you just let it run, it's going to hit this halt state in approximately 47 million transitions. So how was this machine found? It was found through a research problem which is called the busy beaver problem. So the busy beaver problem is asking how long can a Turing machine run with a certain number of states, in this case five, forget the halt state, so with five states, and how many tape symbols that you're allowed. So here we actually have two tape symbols, which is the blank symbol, which is what the tape starts out as, and a one. And what we want to know is how long this machine, or really any machine with five states and two tape symbols can run before it actually stops. So it's important here that the machine actually does stop when starting with blank tape. Because what I could obviously do is I could just make the machine run right forever. So what the problem is all about is seeing how long it can actually run for. And the current open question is determining the busy beaver number, so it's abbreviated BB here, uh, with five states and two tape symbols. So this machine is the current candidate for what is believed to be the longest running Turing machine with five states minus the halt state and two tape symbols. Every other one either runs forever or runs in a smaller number of transitions taken. So the open question here is to determine what is the exact value of this, which is what is the longest number of transitions that such a machine can run for? So is this approximately 47 million? And the current Conjecture is that it actually is equal to that, but it's a matter of proving that. And how do you actually prove it? All you do is you go through all Turing machines with five states and two tape symbols and just see how long could they possibly run. So the ones that take less than 47 million transitions, they obviously stop, so you could just throw them away. But for the ones that run longer, you have to either show that it actually does stop, which means that you have to run it for a very long time, or you have to determine that the machine actually does run forever and you have to formally prove that. And a lot of people have worked on this problem, specifically this pair, but this problem in general, to prove that a lot of these machines actually do run forever. And the current status of the problem, the GitHub repo is in the description, is that approximately 20 machines are remaining. So there are 20 Turing machines that we haven't actually formally proven that they ran forever, but we believe that they run forever if you just start simulating them for a sufficiently long time. So if we can resolve the status of these 20 Turing machines, roughly 20 machines, then what we can do is to finally determine what is the longest running time of such a Turing machine. And why would this be important? It's not important to determine whether or not it's equal to 47 million. Who cares about that? The thing that's important is can we understand a little bit more about the behavior of Turing machines that run a really long time? Are there new proof ideas for seeing how a Turing machine actually runs? Because there are mathematical conjectures which are based on the behavior of Turing machines. So if we can understand how Turing machines can run a really long time and then eventually halt, then we can maybe get some progress on resolving such more important conjectures. So I think that this is a really nice problem because anyone can attempt this. They can try to run these machines themselves and just see what is the behavior of these. And there's a lot of techniques, again, in the GitHub repo in the description, which outline what is the current status of these remaining machines and hopefully we can try to resolve this problem. So I'm enlisting all of you, and I hope that we can resolve this problem soon. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about the busy beaver problem into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. That was easy.
That was easy. That was easy.